Beloved in Christ, let us not make the mistake to believe that somehow uh, we are perfect. There has never been a human being that has been born of woman who have not sinned against God. According to God's word, we all have sinned and come short of, of the glory of God. And because we have sinned, every one of us need a savior. We need someone to stand in our place before a holy God and be our repudiation for that sin. So, beloved in Christ, let us not think in that way. Look what the Word of God tells us in 1 John 1 and 8 and 10. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Beloved, the truth is not in us if we say we have not sinned. So in order for us to have the truth, we have to admit that we have sinned. Sometimes sins of the conscience and sometimes sins of the unconscious, not realizing that we are sinning. You know, as sometimes we do things against other people and we don't recognize that as sin because we think that we did not harm them. Wrong thoughts can bring about sin. The way we think about people, the way we think about situations in our lives can lead us into a sinful thought. So, beloved in Christ, when we recognize that we have sinned, and when the world itself recognizes it has sinned, then it will go before God. It will repent before God and ask for forgiveness. Uh, the Word of God also says in <clears throat> the 10th verse, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar meaning God. We make God a liar, and His Word is not in us. If we say we don't need a Savior, if we say we have not sinned, then according to God's Word, beloved, we are calling God a liar in His own face. And beloved in Christ, I don't believe that is a good thing to do, or to live your life in that manner, but rather it is better to admit that we have fallen short of the glory of God. And if it today that you are listening to this message and you have not asked God to come into your life because He is knocking at the door of your heart by His Holy and Divine Spirit. And this is a grand opportunity for you to ask him and say, Lord, I invite you in. I want you to change my life. I want you to be the Lord over my life. I want you to keep me. Glory be to God. Ask the Lord that today. And beloved, I can say to you that God will hear you. And when he hears you, you will recognize it within your spiritual man and your life will be changed forever as simple as that amen beloved all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of god now may the father open your heart to his understanding in the name of yeshua jesus the christ